Hi, I'm Josh Catalis, clinical nutritionist and functional medicine practitioner. It's possible that we can end this pandemic with pennies per day per person for everyone in the world. Let me explain. The first video I posted on COVID-19 was about vitamin D and how critically important it was for improving our response to viruses to deal with them efficiently and effectively and preventing complications from them and in some cases death. Well, the evidence in support of this is pouring in globally. Now, it's evidence-based, but it's not proven because it takes years of placebo-controlled double-blind studies in order to get to the proven point. But it's cheap, it's inexpensive, it's extremely low risk and very effective. If you have adequate vitamin D status, you have a 90% decreased risk of having complications and a 96% decreased risk of dying from it. That's substantial. Well, Egypt and Slovenia are already taking note of this and making massive changes in their population, recommending vitamin D to them and to many healthcare practitioners as well. Now, there have been studies now that have been done. There was one in the Philippines that showed the probability of becoming severe or critical with COVID-19 was 72.8% for people with low vitamin D status and 7.2% for people with adequate vitamin D status. That's just above 75 nanomoles per liter. There was another similar study with similar results done in Indonesia. And then there was a review of data of all of Europe, of many different countries that have been tracking what's been going on with COVID-19. We see that there's a negative correlation. So as blood levels of vitamin D increase, complications and death from COVID-19 decrease up until the point where it goes right off the chart. In other words, there are no deaths and no complications when vitamin D levels are above 75 nanomoles. This is what the evidence is telling us. Do we need to stand and wait around for these long-term studies to be done? No, we can start supplementing today. Most governments recommend between 400 and 800 IUs of vitamin D. That's just enough to prevent things like rickets. Really all they have in mind is bone health. But when it comes to the immune system, we need much higher levels to get our blood levels in the optimal range. As I've mentioned in previous videos, we need about 4,000 IUs. Some people need 10,000, some people need 2,000 to stay within that range. Some of these studies have used 20,000 IUs for a couple weeks uh, per day for those who are critically ill with very low vitamin D levels to help boost that immune system. So this is a simple, inexpensive therapy with a mountain of evidence showing that it could be highly beneficial for many people with very low risks. I hope that's helpful. Thank you.